Hey everyone, welcome to Merchanaries. Today we're going to make a custom art brush like the one I used to shade the hair in this illustration. Custom brushes are great for speeding up your workflow. You can always download brush sets other people have made, but it's really easy to make your own and save them for future projects. Before we get started, you should know that we'll use a lot of keyboard shortcuts. Instead of explaining them all, they'll appear at the top of the screen. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. To begin, draw a line with the pen tool and give it a black stroke with no fill. Make it thicker in the stroke panel. You can change the shape of your line with the profile options. For this brush, we're using a tapered line. Copy the line a few times and stagger them. Now we're going to select all our lines and convert the strokes to outlines by going to Object, Path, Outline Stroke. The strokes are now fills and can be turned into a compound path. Drag the compound path into your brush box. Select Art Brush as the brush you want to work with. There's a lot of different options here, but we'll only be changing a few of them. Name your brush and change the width to vary with pressure from your tablet. Then make sure you change your colorization to tints. This will let you change the color of your brush. And you're done! Now you have a custom brush that you can use to add shading, it responds to pressure from your stylus, and you can change the color. You can just save this brush, but if you have time, just make a few other brushes to go along with it. Let's make a slightly different brush by repeating this process. This time we'll use a different shape from the profile options in the stroke panel. You don't have to use profiles, but they are super handy to use. This brush will also have different size lines. With our brushes, you don't have to be uniform. Convert the stroke set outlines, make them a compound path, and drag them into the brush panel. From there, select Art Brush and adjust your settings. Remember to change the colorization to tints so you can change your color later. So now that you have a few brushes, you'll want to save them for future use. Draw with them a few times on your artboard so they're active, and start deleting the default brushes. You can select each one, or go to Select All Unused under the Brush Panel options. Save your brushes under the Brush Panel options, and give them a descriptive name so you can find them later. Now if you open a new document, you can load your brushes by going back into the brush panel options, open brush library, user defined. And that's it! This is just one style to use, but now that you know how to make art brushes, you can experiment with different shapes and combinations. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial, subscribe for more videos, and if you have any questions or suggestions for other tutorials, please let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching!